here we are outside the Karuna residence with our solar PV system. And with this system, we're gonna generate all of the energy needs for the entire building. That's hot water, heating, ventilation, all the lights, including a well pump. So really, this is an impressive uh, array in that it's actually really small. Um, a lot of people can get to net zero just by putting a really large array on an inefficient house. But in this case, we've really optimized the building, uh, first at being a passive house, using really efficient and smart mechanical systems. Uh, and with all of that done, we're able to use the smallest array possible uh, to get to net zero. So here we have a 9.9 .9 kilowatt array made up of solar world modules. These solar modules are actually made completely from cell uh, all the way through the complete module only 50 miles away from here at a manufacturing plant. Really one of the only places in the world where that happens. So it's a really neat, uh, a really neat story for this building. So here we are uh, in front of the inverter for the solar array at the Karuna house. Uh, this device converts the DC power that the solar panels produce into AC power that syncs up with uh, what the house needs and syncs up with the utility. So this is a grid-tied system. It doesn't have batteries. Um, so we have a backup generator next to me that runs on propane if there was ever a situation um, that would require uh, where the power would be out and we'd want to have electricity. Um, What's nice about that is that we didn't have to go with the battery system. And battery systems, although they can provide really seamless, quiet energy and allow your solar system to function, um, they have a lot of uh, negative environmental attributes potentially in their manufacturing, require a lot of maintenance, require a lot of space. So this ended up being a really, really elegant solution to make sure that we have the annual energy that we need with the solar and emergency power when we need it with the generator. Now, originally on this site, we were looking at a large wind turbine. We have uh, a pretty good sized property. We're on the top of, um, uh, of a good sized hill, and there's just enough wind on an annual basis here to provide the energy we would need for the house. Um, but wind turbines, for one, don't come in so many sizes. They come in kind of small, medium, and large. And it turns out that the system we would have had would have actually produced more energy than we needed. And that made the economics not as attractive. It was a little bit too expensive. There were also concerns and issues with raptors that are local um, to this hilltop and some concerns from the neighbors. So we ended up shifting our strategy to solar which a lot of people think doesn't produce very well here in Oregon. Um, but as you can see, we have a great sunny day here in the springtime and our really, really long spring and summer days uh, make up for our uh, relatively dark and cloudy winter days. So we actually end up with about national average amounts of solar production per year. And as we mentioned earlier, this is gonna provide 100% of the power that we need uh, for this building for the entire year.